One in three people of the world depends on rice for half of his or her daily intake of food. Because of the efforts of the 1996 World Food Prize laureates, the world's supplies of this vital grain are better able to meet that demand. Dr. Henry Beechel and Dr. Gerdiv Kush share credit for their revolutionary efforts in greatly improving the yield potential of rice. In their work at IRI, the International Rice Research Institute, in the Philippines and throughout Asia, Drs. Beechel and Kush demonstrate the brilliant and creative intelligence and the unselfish drive to better the lives of all humanity that is celebrated by the World Food Prize. One day in late 1963, Dr. Henry Beechel, retired rice breeder for the U.S. Department of Agriculture, walked through the experimental fields at the Rice Research Center and returned to the lab with an historic discovery. IR8 is a short, thick-stemmed, sturdy rice plant that responds more effectively to the application of fertilizer, matures early, and yields much more than traditional varieties. Here, the typical traditional rice variety its top-heavy panicles cripple weak stems, thus submerging the fruit of the crop beneath the water. The sturdy stems of IR8 support higher yielding panicles, producing far more grain. Soon, IR8 set yield records throughout Asia, doubling previous production. With good management, farmers could produce four or five tons of rice per hectare of land, compared to one or two tons using traditional varieties. Benefiting from Dr. Beechel's work, Dr. Gurdav Kush, a colleague of Dr. Beechel at IRI, developed his own new variety of miracle rice. Using Dr. Beechel's IR8 as a genetic base and crossbreeding it with 13 parent varieties, Dr. Kush developed IR36, a variety that has proved to be highly resistant to a number of insect pests and diseases. IR36 matures rapidly and produces a slender grain preferred in many Asian countries. It has become one of the most widely planted food crop varieties the world has ever known. About 11 million hectares planted worldwide. The improved varieties of rice developed by Dr. Beechel and Dr. Kush and their colleagues in Asia are now planted in nearly 70% of the world's rice growing land and are responsible for more than doubling the worldwide rice production feeding 700 million more people than otherwise would have been possible. For Asian farmers, the new varieties of rice have brought in $1 billion in income. With available croplands diminishing, Dr. Kush believes it is imperative that even better yielding rice be developed. The challenge? To meet the increasing demands from farmers in developing nations for these new varieties as expediently as possible. With the groundwork of IRI and other Asian scientists in place, chances of meeting this demand are dramatically improved. Celebrating his 90th birthday this year, Dr. Beechel continues to consult in the rice industry and remains very active. Dr. Kush currently continues to serve as principal plant breeder and head of the Division of Plant Breeding, Genetics, and Biochemistry at IRI, where he has worked for 29 years. As a result of doctors Beechel and Kush's work, millions of people are now better fed, enjoy better health, and increased life expectancy. Dr. Gurdav Kush. The most rewarding part of this work is uh, that you have the satisfaction of uh, helping so many people by producing more food. And uh, uh, I hope that this will be uh, continued and I this is my sort of the mission of my life to continue to work towards the improvement of rice to be able to feed more and more people.